Well, I thought we played really, really disciplined tonight. Uh, moved the ball well. Had probably, uh, you know, or for sure, the majority of possession. Um, in the first half, outstanding. The only thing that was really missing was that go-ahead goal. You know, the one-on-one -on -one that Sven had, uh, the shot, uh, that tore hit that came off the post. You know, those things, sometimes that happens. You know, you have to be patient uh, against a team like that. Their game plan was uh, to wait for us to make a mistake and then to counter. And they almost uh, were rewarded for that in the second half uh, when the ball was intercepted and uh, they got a shot off uh, on, the, on the counter. That, that's really what they were waiting for for 90 minutes uh, for us to do. But with the exception of this one time, we didn't do them the favor. We moved the ball really quickly and uh, we didn't allow to get stripped off the ball. I thought uh, in that sense, our central midfield with Kuba and with Joel, they did an outstanding job. How much uh, emphasis did you guys put in preparation for this match in terms of just having more of a purpose in the attacking third as opposed to Tuesday when it seemed like you guys Well, the, the, the preparation is twofold. The, the preparation goes to recognize the strength and the weakness of an opposing team, but also to advance yourself. So our practices are geared towards advancing ourselves to become a better team but on the other hand we are not neglecting what what the other team has in store in terms of their weapons uh, and, and their style of play did you feel like your team came out with a more sense of urgency tonight than maybe i guess you thought the night before they they lacked a little bit of that in the attack in the final third of the field did you feel like that was there all night tonight why well, a it's a conference game uh b you know the Tuesday game that was the midweek game we just traveled we came back you know it's one of those games that it, it's so easy to overlook sure and uh, we, we played a little bit sloppy on Tuesday um, I still thought we did a lot of good things in that game too uh, but we were today much much more disciplined um, it, it's really about control and I thought tonight we controlled the game I didn't see at all. I mean, Anthony told me right now, and I, I, I wasn't aware of it. But uh, I mean, I didn't think it made that big of a difference because I think the whole game they were sitting back, and sure. even if it's 11 or 10, it doesn't really make that big of a difference because it's hard to break through. But I think the big step that we took this year, um, compared to the beginning of the season, is that we just stick to our game plan, even though we need to wait longer. How long, how long was left in the game? Six minutes, I think. Somewhere? Yeah, so two seven. Um, yeah. I think in the beginning of the season we would have we would become impatient and start like hitting long balls and starting to force it. But now we just um, Johnny told me and Elmer told me too just keep switching, keep switching, and eventually you'll get through it. And that's what happened. Is it a mindset? I mean, <clears throat> is it a mindset that you have to kind of force yourself not to get frustrated or impatient at that point when you're looking up in the clock and I mean you're going towards the scoreboard, so you see yeah. you have 20 to four advantage in shots or 19 to four and time's ticking down, you see yeah. a team's packing it in, maybe trying to play for a result and get a draw out of here. I mean, obviously we won't play for a draw, especially at home. And you no, see I mean, that they're, they're, they're okay. Yeah, yeah. um, I think we need to just be confident in what we can do. And we, see, we saw the whole season, I think we outshot every opponent. We were always dominant in every game. That's what we try to do um, from the start of the season. And uh, once you do that, eventually you're going to get through and you've got to get a goal. How much is building up? Because, I mean, this is where it starts with you guys in the back. How much is building up the attack and, you know, kind of keeping that pressure on the midfield line and keeping teams out of year half. Uh, I guess how much does the offense, the attack, the pressure mm -hmm. contribute to the fact that you haven't allowed many opportunities? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it works both sides. We try to play out of the back, which makes it easier for the for our front guys. But um, our, the shutouts is not just the thing of our back four. I think it starts in the front. Our pressing that we did the whole season is what we worked and we emphasized a lot. Um, and I think our, our front line has done a great job in um, not allowing him to play out of the back and sending it long so we can just control. Uh, we get the ball back and we start playing what we're best in. Awesome. Obviously, very important that we believe in ourselves, and we did it. We said in halftime, no matter how long, it's, it's it is zero zero. We just have to believe in ourselves. We know we have the quality. We know we can score a goal on these guys all day long. But yeah, we just had to finish it off, and we stayed patient. We stayed patient. We believed in ourselves, and yeah, goal came late, but it came, and I think we did a good job today. We, it's a pretty pretty nice cross from you. Oh, amazing, amazing cross, and I mean, I just had to put my head there, and it was. Very good cross and came at the right time for sure. Did you guys feel like you were getting quality shots up to that point? Did you did you feel like it was just a matter of just, you know, I actually, an inch here or there that was Yeah, yeah I thought difference? it was just a matter of time because even like, I think me, Tor, like we got some shots off and always went like maybe a bit wide or the goalie kept it. I hit the crossbar, mm -hmm. we actually hit the, hit the post once, crossbar once. 
Um, yeah, you guys dinged up these goals pretty good. Yeah, I don't know why we do this, but we always make it exciting. And now, <laughs> next time, I hope we can score the first half too, and don't always wait to with the first goal. But I mean, it doesn't matter. We won 1-0, and it's great that we scored the goal. You're gonna get an undefeated Denver team. They're probably gonna still be in the top five when they come here. You might be closer to that point. Um, yeah. Face them in the spring. What do you think about what they're gonna bring to this I field mean, on Tuesday? It's great that we go in this game now with I think how many games did we win now in a row? Six games. Mm -hmm. That's great. We go in there with confidence. We know we can beat them here. It's gonna be a great showdown. I think we are all excited for this game because in this game we can really show how good we are this year against a really good opponent. And I mean, yeah, I remember in the spring we were not far off. Like they won three zero, but it was not a 3-0 game. We had our chances too and I think we can beat them. Hopefully we will be more efficient against them. You mentioned a little bit there, but how much of Tuesday's match, given that you're going to jump out of conference for a second, gives you guys a chance to kind of, I guess, show yourselves what you're capable of against an elite team. One that you, you know, might end up facing in December yeah. that, you know, I mean, it's obviously great and we're all excited to play against the best teams and measure ourselves. Like, we want to see how good we are. We really believe in ourselves. I think we can have a great year. We still have to improve. And I think now against Denver, we have to show how like that we can really also play well against a good team. And it will, it will be great. It will be a great test for us to see how far we are and what we have to improve. And after this game, we can talk again. This will be interesting.